You know, I love to talk about the end times and the rapture of the church because I'm ready for the madness that I see all over this country to end. Every day I end up in discussions about how men can get pregnant or how aborting a fetus right before birth is good for a woman, and I marvel at how odd these things seem to me. Some who once viewed it as a necessary evil to abort a child now celebrate it on social media as a badge of honor. Mass murder, violent crime, and wanton disregard for others is the story of our day. Why are these things happening and when are they going to end? And what is this strong delusion the Bible warns us about? First, let's take a look at exactly what has come upon our world. In 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 9 through 12, it speaks of a strong delusion that God is going to send in the end times. The coming of the Antichrist is by the activity of Satan, with all wicked deception for those who are perishing, because they refused to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they might believe what is false, in order that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. First, it's very clear that this strong delusion is going to take place in the last days, the closing hour or the church age, and in fact, the activity of Satan facilitates the coming of the Antichrist. So what is this activity of Satan? Deception, of course, is one of Satan's favorite activities. Convincing man that sin is okay, that evil's good, and that God is an oppressor has been Satan's MO since the beginning of time. God says, thou shalt not kill, and yet Satan has convinced man that assisted suicide, euthanasia, and abortion are in fact good things that should be codified into the law in countries. I could easily go down the Ten Commandments and show how God said, thou shalt not, and yet Satan convinced man that thou shall. The strong delusion is, in fact, a rejection of truth. The Bible says they refused to love the truth. In fact, most people either hate the truth or they don't even believe in truth. In fact, truth has now been vilified as being oppressive. You often hear people say, I'm living my truth. Uh, they're really living under a delusion. The Bible speaks of only one truth. The Bible says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's a broad path to destruction, and this country is on it. A strong delusion has been sent because Satan is involved and the time for Christ to return is at hand. This time is going to be marked by the arrival of the Antichrist as one world religion and a wicked unification of world governments. We see these things unfolding right now at breakneck speed. This delusion applies to those who did not believe the truth. People have tried to witness to them, but they strongly reject God, and they hate his lordship and his authority. They love to live an unrighteous life. It's wrong to think that God is tricking these people. The depraved people that we're seeing that hold such sway in our society are those who are influenced by Satan and who, in fact, hate the God of the Bible. Those who categorically reject God and his word are among those who accept this strong delusion that God has sent in this late hour that we're living. God wants everyone to be saved, but many people despise him because he rejects their sinful lifestyles. As we can see, this strong delusion has come when many have chosen to rebel against God. They rebel against his plan of salvation, his commandments, and most of all, they rebel against his authority. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 says, For that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed. The Antichrist will arise and many are going to join him in rebellion against God. We can be reasonably sure that the Antichrist is already among us. Immediately after the church is raptured, the Antichrist is going to really come to power in this world. And that's when things are going to go from bad to worse than you can possibly imagine. People are going to be fooled during this time by Satan's power and by false miracles. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9 states, The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders. And it's clear to see that this scripture is referring to a time in the near future during the Great Tribulation. In Revelation 13, 3 and 4, there's another prediction that's going to occur. 
The Antichrist will appear to die or come close to death, and yet he's going to be healed. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole world marveled as they followed the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, for he had been given his authority to the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? Many is going to be tricked into worshipping the Antichrist as a result, and I would say that this would clearly fool most who are left behind. This strong delusion that God is sending is serving as part of God's overall judgment of this earth. While many have set themselves up as enemies of God or already given over to a reprobate mind, they may live in a messed up world now, but those who remain on the earth after the rapture will live under the tyranny of the Antichrist, experience terrifying judgments, and most of them are going to accept the Antichrist and worship him. Yet even today, many reject Christ and believe the lies of the devil. God calls on us to confess Jesus as our Lord, to believe in him as the resurrected Son of God. Only then are we going to experience life in Christ and escape the lies of the devil and the horrors of the Great Tribulation. This strong delusion is indeed a rejection of truth, the truth of God's word, the truth of his son, and it's a rejection of any objective truth at all. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you in a while.